Joshua! Incredible! Yo, what's good? Can you fight fans? Welcome back to the channel, your number one spot for all things boxing. Today, we're breaking down one of the biggest fights of the year, Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois. This was a banger, and it did not disappoint. If you missed the fight or just want to relive the action, you're in the right place. So, stay tuned, because we're diving into all the key moments, and believe me, things got real in that ring. All right, so this fight was huge. We had Anthony Joshua, who's been a dominant force in the heavyweight division for years. You know AJ, two-time unified heavyweight champ, Olympic gold medalist, and one of the biggest names in the sport. But let's be real. After those back-to-back -back losses to Oleksandr Usyk, a lot of people were questioning if Joshua still had it. Did he still have that killer instinct, or had he lost a step? First one, not good at all. Um, and the second one was a bit better, but not good enough. And it just showed me that there's another level that we get to go to, which is going to be tough. What weren't you happy about? In, in what sense? In the performance with regards to performance. In the oh, I feel like I lost it in, this, in the la later rounds. In the last two to three rounds, I threw it away. Well, that's my opinion, yeah. But he, I got beat by the better man. He's a really talented fighter. But hey, Joshua came out swinging like a true warrior. Yeah. What happened for those that maybe didn't get that clip? Why was he disrespectful? It wasn't disrespectful. It was just a phrase I used, but he said, let's go now. And I, I clicked for a minute. I said, what does he mean by that? And then he repeated it again. And I just feel like anyone in here, if I was- Boxing, this is what happens. This is boxing. This thing's happened, so. You know, we're fighting Saturday. Let's go. So as I was saying, <laughs> on, at the press conference, I just feel like you should never let anyone take an inch because I'll end up taking a mile. You know what I mean, Dad? Sorry? <laughs> That's it. He said, never take an inch. Never let anyone take an inch. Then, you've got Daniel Dynamite Dubois. This guy's a knockout artist, and he's only 26 years old. He's got that serious one-punch power, and he's been making waves in the division. But after his loss to Joe Joyce, people wondered if Dubois was ready to take on a guy like Joshua, someone who's been at the top for so long. Was he gonna rise to the occasion or get overwhelmed by the spotlight? All right, now we're fine, it's different, you know? It's different, ready to go. Was he going to rise to the occasion or get overwhelmed by the spotlight? Not to mention, this wasn't the first time Daniel Dubois saw AJ in the ring. Both guys sparred before, and word on the street was that Dubois had the upper hand. But on fight night, the narrative flipped completely. This spa that happened several years ago. Now, you, Frank, said in a recent documentary that you heard about the spa and you signed it basically because of that spa as well. Can we clear that up now? Obviously, we know you guys are going to fight for the real thing on Saturday, but can we clear up this sparring story, these sparring rumors? AJ? You crap me with a great shot, and it's my chance to get him back on Saturday. I'm looking forward to it. There you go. Dan well, we right? sparred hundreds of rounds, didn't it? You cracked him, Daniel. So you, you know you can hurt him. It's sparring, but now we're fighting. It's different, you know? Think it's different? Ready to go. Think it's move on now. You can move on now. Oh. Move on. This fight had all the ingredients for a classic. Joshua's experience versus Dubois' raw power and hunger. Let's get into how it all went down. Relax, super key. Round one started. Both guys came out pretty measured. Joshua was using his jab a lot, controlling the distance and trying to get a feel for Dubois. He wasn't rushing in or taking any unnecessary risks, just establishing his rhythm. Dubois, on the other hand, was looking to close the gap and land those big shots early. But AJ's movement and jab were on point in this round, so Dubois didn't get many chances. Now rounds two till four were a game changer. As we moved into these rounds, Joshua started to step up his game. His jab was landing consistently and he was throwing some nice combinations to the body and head. 
Dubois, though, stayed dangerous. He was looking for that one big punch to change the fight. You could see he was trying to find his range, but every time he got close, Joshua would tie him up or move out of danger. AJ was showing that experience by staying calm, sticking to his game plan, and not letting Dubois get too comfortable. But you could feel the tension. Every time Dubois wound up, you knew he had the power to turn things around in an instant. Round five is where things started to heat up. Dubois caught Joshua with a solid right hand that woke everyone up. You could see the power in Dubois' punches. It was that knockout threat everyone was talking about. But Joshua didn't panic. He took the shot well, regrouped, and stayed focused. This was a reminder that even though AJ was controlling the fight, Dubois was still in it with that fight-changing power. Dubois was starting to show signs of fatigue in the sixth round. AJ was relentless, pushing forward with every ounce of energy he had. A close exchange near the ropes had the crowd on the edge of their seats. Both fighters landed solid punches, but Joshua seemed to have the upper hand. The pace slows slightly as both fighters try to recover. Anthony Joshua was picking his shots carefully, while Madrimov was still looking for that knockout punch. A sneaky left hook from AJ landed, and Dubois's legs wobbled. He was clearly tired. AJ took control of the ring. Every punch landed with authority. The crowd kept chanting Joshua's name. It was only a matter of time before AJ secured the W. The man was toying with him, landing punches at will. The referee was watching closely, ready to stop the fight if Daniel couldn't defend himself. So where did all the trash talk go now, Daniel Dubois? Anthony Joshua! The bell rang to start the 10th round, but it was over. Daniel was on unsteady legs, and AJ took advantage of that. He landed a left hook that knocked him out cold. The crowd went absolutely wild as AJ celebrated his victory. Anthony Joshua! Incredible! What a Anthony Joshua has done it again. His hype train never seems to end, and I don't think it ever will because AJ is reaching new levels with every fight. He keeps getting better. All right, guys, move, move to the side. Okay, step back, step back. Step back. Hey, Jake, pull us up this way. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Hey, this way, son. Joe? Yeah, yeah, got it. Anthony Joshua is back in the spotlight, and this time he made a huge statement by knocking out Daniel Dubois. But AJ ain't stopping there. Right after dropping Dubois, Joshua took the mic and called out none other than Oleksandr Usyk for a rematch. He's ready to settle the score and take back his belts after Usyk got the best of him last time. Joshua's been grinding hard, and now he's coming for that top spot again. Do you think AJ's got what it takes to finish Usyk this time? Or is Usyk gonna repeat history? Joshua, gotta commit himself to that right hand. Heavy. 
So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.